isn't tough I am back again and this is a kind of light but it's a bell box unboxing not wearing any makeup um, this is how it is uh, this is March's box which I did get in March but um, and I kind of half opened it and had a look and if you saw my last unboxing you would know that I was basically if the box doesn't improve I will be um, cancelling <sighs> I may well be cancelling. Not, not very happy with what I got. Anyway, it comes with a card which is um, tells you how much their retail price is for full size, etc, etc. Um, we'll get on to the first two things that I am really not very happy about, mainly because I don't like this brand. Um, this is Colour by TBN. They gave you a... This is new French formula, I don't know. But this is crystal clear. And this one is called Wicket. And it's green. Um, I've got a little swatchy wheel thing here. Um, I've got one little thing here. I'll check to see what this smells like because that's the main reason I hated these, is because they smell really, really bad. The smell is still really bad. <laughs> mm. Not my favourite. Not my favourite at all. Um, that is one coat of Wicket. Uh, it's probably not a bad neon. Like neon green. I should not think I've got any. Uh, I've got a couple of neon greens. Similar kind of colour. Probably needs a white undie. Um, the formula's not bad, but the smell of these is like um, the old kind of permanent textures that you used to get that kind of give you a headache after a little while. That's kind of how they smell, which, as I said, not my favourite. Um, and I've never particularly had any luck with Colour by TBN. I generally end up getting rid of them all as soon as I get them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so they're apparently $2.95 each. Uh, yeah. They're supposed to be 100% cruelty-free and fast-drying. Um, not that fast-drying. <laughs> when someone says fast-drying, I expect it to be touch-dry in 30 seconds or so. That's... It's not. Anyway. Next. We have something that I clearly will not be using. This is from La Marve. This is a gradual tanning moisturizer. After getting a tanning product last time and losing my shit over it, uh, to get another one is just fucking annoying, quite frankly. This is a much smaller one. Um, it's only $10. But that, if you were, as it says, it's gradual tanning, you wouldn't really be able to test it out if you are going to put it all over you because you'd probably only get one application out of that. Apparently for 200 mils that is $39.95. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, the next one is from Amy. Um, it is a deep pore exfoliating polish. So basically a exfoliator. Uh, Yep, it uses rice apparently to clean up your pores. That's that's interesting. I think I've ever used a rice one before. Mm, smells okay. Not happy about the fact it's not safety seal. It's like 101 safety seal. Um, apparently that is a dollars ninety nine for a hundred mils, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's one of those ones that, if it works, it's probably worth buying and you can get from Priceline if you're interested. Then we have from Swiss the Rose Hip Facial Moisturizer for normal skin. My skin's relatively normal. Um, it doesn't have an SPF in it though. So if you were to use this, you would need to also use an SPF or just use it at none. So that's not that one's not bad. Um, and for 125 mils, that's like 9.95, so it's around about the same price as the Amy one. 
Then we have from Lily and Beauty, uh, we have this clean purifying cleanser. So we've had an exfoliator and a moisturizer, and now we're just getting a cleanser. This apparently has Indian gooseberry and durano geranium oil. Um, yeah, so it's just a little 10 ml sample. Um, yeah, so that is a cleanser. Apparently there's a whole line of different products that they have in their line. So, that was interesting. Never heard of them before, so there you go. Um, whoa! <laughs> 100 mils of those, apparently $44. So, we have the, the moisturizer and this one, which you could buy both of these twice for one of these. And lastly, we have from Sukin a hydrating facial mask. Um, pretty sure this is actually full size. Oh, it does come in a bigger size. Um, this is fifteen ninety five for hundred mils, which for a mask you don't generally use a huge amount. So um, I'm just see Sukin does it right. Safety seal, which is good. Um, I'd like to know what it smells like, but it's good that I can't. Um, I'll just check the, the Swiss one. Safety seal too, so I'm happy about that. And the Lily Beauty one as well. It's only the Amy one that's not. So, um, yeah. And then in the bottom of it, of the box, we have the usual add-ons, which they chuck in. This one is the ingredients card which I really appreciate, um, and I'm sure other people who have allergies probably appreciate as well. Um, most of these have fairly natural type ingredients in it, which is actually really quite nice. This is a stupid HelloFresh thing. I hate them. Um, and lastly, we have the bonus, which is a little sample of the Palmer's Shady Formula Body Lotion. Palmas is not my favourite smell, I have to admit, um, but that's fine. It's a pretty small sample. It's probably only one use. It's like five mil. So. Um, that was everything that was in my Bella box for March. Not the worst box, not the best box. Pretty much um, most of the stuff is fine and I'll probably use it. The um, I'll probably use that at some point interested to try the exfoliator, um, especially as I know I can get it from Price Um I quite like Swiss as a brand. I u I've used their like micellar water. We'll see how that is. The masks are not one of my best things, but Sukin's a good brand, I know that. Interested to try this Lilian cleanser, although it is kind of pricey. Obviously I'm not going to use this. It's um, and these uh, may well get passed on to somebody else because I really don't like that brand. So that was my bell box for March. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.